in this episode of C5, we will be under the over the car because it is tipped over. We're going to be doing our first mod. Anyway, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Ruby Giving MB, and we're back in the Sinclair. So, we're going to show you a bit of the cosmetics of the car so that we can show you a bit of this car because we want to show we want to show you this automobile fully. So, what? Here, so if I step back, so there's our cameraman. Hello. It's my granddad. So we've got wheel at the front. So and we've got two wheels at the rear. So we've got a chain. So if you can see that bit that goes up, up to that wheel and to these wheels, that is the chassis. So obviously. It, now it is rusting a bit, but you expect it. It's a 1985 car. There, but it's but it's still solid. It's still really solid, and it's if you give that a good plot with a stick, I bet you could. Uh, let's agree on this. Yeah. This in is reasonable in reasonable condition for its age. For its like age. Me. Cause it's quite old and yes there's a bit of like scuffing me. here and a bit of scuffing here and a bit of scuffing there and a bit of scuffing there but what the flip do you expect you don't you don't expect much at all do you you don't and overall and we're going to give this thing a full service check so we're going to get under the frame we're going to get all of the things that you'd expect an MOT to pass we're going to do a basic MOT on this yep okay we're, we're going to give it to the cameraman turn the camera yep okay right so we're going to get under so if you just come forward wait right okay so if I turn the camera around so if you come and stand here cameraman so I'm just gonna. So we're gonna do some agreeing here. So. So if um so really, if we think about it, I'm happy with the fact that if we give the the tyres have got a lot of tread, so we're gonna go around this one, obviously. No, I think that's one, and this very solid is it's got a lot of tread on it and if we come to this one there's a lot of tread there's a lot of marking on it which means that's a good sign of mot pass no wear on it much and if we come on up front oh there's if we look at it there's the seat and there's all of like the and if we compare, if we, if you look at that, that's got a lot of tread on it, and it's got a lot of, lot of life left in it, and that's the bit which, the steering, and if it steers well, that's got, that's a good sign of a, uh, of an MOT pass. Now this doesn't have to go through the MOT, does it? Doesn't have to go through the MOT scale, but Matthew and I really do like to look at these cars, and we really do like to look after motorcycles because he's actually driven this. Go and check out my Sinclair C5 drive, and you'll be able to see Matthew and I driving this. So, if we come and have a look at like the cosmetic, so that is the battery, I believe. That's the motor. And the battery is well. It's not on at the moment. It's not on at the moment. But where is the where the battery would be? Would be in the centre. Somewhere here, I think. So, somewhere here, mm. probably about here, because that's where the. But like, like we haven't gone into much detail. You haven't been on like because it's so because it's so well looked after. We haven't been. We haven't had to go underneath it or on top of it for ages. 
the only thing was because on Sunday it broke. The chain came off and it was just we had to get over we had to get it on its wheels and we had to fix it. So but now it's all in running condition. So hopefully at the weekend we will be going for a drive in the Sinclair C5 again. Probably not recording but you've seen us drive it anyway so you can see how it drives by going to RubyCupid and B. So I think this is actually the motor. But if you so that's the chain there, that's the chassis, that is the bit that turns the wheel, so you can see that that moves and and the handlebars are here. So that like I, that is the handlebars of turning the wheel. So you can yep. see so if you that, that's the, the it's got a lot of life left in it if, if we look at the hand if we look at by the handlebars if like it's uh, like it the it is turning which is a good sign also some if we look at this like yes that's this, this has got a lot of life notes in it i think my granddad has been having too many drinks therefore fell on the garage but yeah hey home so we've got we've got if if your car has these on the back which the abetha does you've got to make sure that these don't have a lot of wear on them this is it's got a couple of scrapes but i won't worry about that at all and it's 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 a really good motor because this one's not damaged at all so also if you come to the front come to the front please please don't so if you i'm going to have the camera so we're going to i'm just gonna get under oh. So there's the seat, so you can already see. That is a drainer, which means that if water, if it's raining and it get put out, uh, the seat won't be wet if you cut, if you come to it in the morning and use it as a daily. What actually will happen is the water will run down to that drain and come out. If I can see that in here, if you can, yeah, yeah, the cameraman is going in, yeah, okay, so yeah, okay, so if we have a look at if we have a look under there, if so you can like if you look under kind of like that i can't see it but somewhere underneath there is a is the bit where it drains out so it will probably come under the chain and that might mean that over here is probably rotted but there's not much rot at all like it's still it's still solid it's still very solid and yeah also when you come to it have a look at the wheels now these are not alloy wheels they're just kind of like plastic ones because this is the stock wheels but i haven't got the cover on them so we've got like so sinclair sinclair thingy on there there we go if it focuses, focus it, focus, 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 focus. There we go. So, I think it says on these wheels as well. What I believe to be up. Sinclair. And it says it on that as well. You can probably see down there. But. So, if, there's no service history on this. But. It would, I would say, my verdict on the Sinclair, I think if we were to put this on an, on the MOT, the normal, the normal test that has to go through every year 
if the car is above three years old, it would do it. I think it would. Because I think the only advisories would be the chassis and the fact that it's quite there's a big amount of scuff however it uh, like if we look at stuff like let's look at stuff positive stuff there's no like suspension there's no disc brakes however the suspension suspension is known for wearing tear wear and tear because the because the wheels are low to the ground and there's not much in the way of like I can only just I can I can't even fit if you just I can't even fit two fingers I can only just and if and I can't I can't even fit one finger down like it's let's just say it's absolute piece of trash when it comes to suspension however the suspension is very good and it can wear they, these are well known for suspension failure however this is amazing at suspension i've driven it it's so good over bumps but well, i say it i say so but it is when you're driving it sedately shall we say but that's it from now guys see you in the next video of sinclair c5 anyway that's it from now that's what, from me that's it from the sinclair and that's it from this garage and that's it from my granddad anyway see you in the next video bye